Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to find, download and install a template that you've downloaded from the internet. We're going to do this one. Oh, look at the zoomy. It's got a bit of motion blur going. Okay, so I'm going to show you where to find them, how to install them, plus some of the limitations. Uh, first of all though, actually before we get started, the easy one, if you just came for figuring out how to install it, go to motion graphics, browse and click that button. That's how you install one. Okay, but stick around if you want to learn a little bit more details, get into it. All right, so finding stuff on the internet, uh, we're going to look for free stuff because I don't know, I don't know why, is it just me? Uh, I've got money to pay for them. I just want to look to see what the free stuff is first and then maybe pay for it. Um, motion Array, if you do a Google search for Premiere Pro uh, motion graphic templates, um, they appear quite heavily and they got really nice stuff. Um, so, you know, uh, what you can do is you get to here and you can do things like they've got a really nice search feature. Okay, they they support um, these video products really well. Okay, so I can go to Premiere Pro templates and actually just hit search. Okay, and it gives me everything. And then if you're cheap like me, go and turn this to free, pop that back in and just see what they got. Okay, so in here, remember we talked about the difference between presets and templates. Presets are the things that we did them way, way ago. Okay, and they end up in your fix panel. Remember we did our own preset? That's a preset. Often it is things like color grading. Okay, so you can look in here for those as well. Templates is more motion graphic templates. Okay, and there's a bunch in here. Um, yeah, well thought out, well considered from the site. Uh, I've downloaded one for us, but you can download them. Okay, you've got to click on the download button. There's your cool little preview. Then you hit download. You need to give them your email, okay, to get it. It's that ethical bribe. You go into the emailing list, but they're pretty good with not spamming you. Okay, they just send you useful stuff. Obviously, you can unsubscribe. You'll end up with something like this. So in your exercise files, okay, under project four, I've put the little download. Let's tidy this up. Under motion array, okay, and that's what I downloaded. Okay, it comes as a zip file. I opened it up, and these three things were in there. This is the thing you want, the Mogart. Okay, and this is a font link and a little PDF explaining how to install it. But that's my job right now. And the link one becomes useful because they've used a font called Roboto, which might not be linked to Adobe fonts and might not come down automatically. I know I already have Roboto installed on my machine because I use it for other things, but uh, often it can be really helpful to figure out what font is needed to go off and install it. It even tells you where to get it from. Okay, Typekit, which is what they used to call Adobe fonts. Anyway, let's look at installing it. Installing it's easy, okay, over in your essential graphics panel, go to browse, let's go to this little button down here, look, it even tells us, install motion graphics template, okay, find it in your exercise files, doesn't matter where you've downloaded it from, as long as it is called this one here, okay, M-O-G-R-T, okay, Mogart, um, motion graphics template, okay, you can click open and it will, I already have it because I already installed it. Okay, and it will appear. And yet, like you can get lucky by going, let's sort by recent. Oh, look, and it appeared. Okay, but often it doesn't. <laughs> if it was made three years ago, it could be at the bottom. So you might have to just try and remember what it's called, and you might have to type it in. There's my one there. Okay, and I'm going to install it by clicking. Actually, I need to make a duplicate. I'm going to call this one Course V4. Let's delete what we have in there. Go get rid of the music and let's find it under browse, drag it in. Awesome. You, it's going to pretty much stress your machine out pretty badly, even though it's a kind of a simple thing. Um, basically anything it uses something called motion, um, motion blur while it's moving. Okay. Really freaks Premiere Pro out. looks cool though. So it's worth it. So what we're going to do is we're going to lower the quality over here to a quarter. Not going to pre-render it because I want to change the text. I'm just going to get a look of it. Yeah, it's playing a bit slowly. I find sometimes it doesn't. I don't need to see it in like actual time. I can just grab my CTI and just slowly move it across myself. And that's enough of a preview for me, even though it's not in real time and it's a little bit jumpy. I find that's an easy way to test it. Let's have a look what they've done. So again, no changing of the font. Okay, I can live with that kind of. All right, so pretty um, pretty basic. Uh, you can see got some cool stuff going on in here that I can change. Change the color, the text. I'm not going to run through all of that. It's pretty self-explanatory. And the thing that I might do is let's change this to. Um, 
100% pure. Okay, and I also want to um, go through and maybe put more than one in because I like this kind of zoom effect. So I'm going to tuck this in. Okay, so it disappears. Okay, I'm going to do copy it. I'm going to paste it. Remember, just paste it over here. Drag it back in. Don't tell anyone. All right, drag this one on top. So we've got this kind of like pacing. And that one doesn't disappear, just kind of goes over the top. Doesn't make much sense if you don't change the color. So I'm going to pick a new color. And let's change it from just a pure to visit New Zealand. All right. So spacebar, lowest quality. Still not going to work. Oh, I'll pre-render it for you so you can get a sense of it. That one needs to be probably longer. I'll see you in a second. All right, we're back. I hope I got the timing right. 100%. Pure New Zealand. Look at that. We're doing it. It's beautiful. So that's a really cool thing about Premiere Pro and those um, Mogart um, templates is that you can find lots online now. And again, I'm not kind of advocating for always looking for free because we'll do some premium ones in the next video. Just give you a look. Actually, it felt like I was uh, finishing up. There's one last thing I want to show you. Oh, I want Visit New Zealand to be on two lines. Don't worry, just put a return in there. Look in here, let's have a look. <laughs> so there's just, there's just like, ugh. That's the problem with sometimes using somebody else's template. And you're like, mm, what do I do? I can't play around with any of that. There's no space after or line spacing. Mm, just have to live with that and try and work around it. So I guess I don't want to make it seem like it's perfect all the time. I want to show you some of the issues that face us all as Premiere Pro video creators. All right, that's it. Uh, let's jump into the next video. All right, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give the video a like. Consider subscribing to the channel here. And also, if you want to go a bit further with Premiere Pro, consider checking out my Premiere Pro Essentials course. There is a link in the description. Bye now.